Hey guys, what's up? So welcome to SST Guru and now here I am back with resources and development part 3. So already I have covered part 1 and part 2 of resource and development and uh, uh, power sharing. So do watch it if you have not watched it. And this is our YouTube channel SST Guru and you can also message me your queries in facebook.com slash SST Guru. So now I'm going to deal with the topic how is soil formed. We need to know how is soil formed before we begin to study what are the different style what are the different types of soils available in india so uh, i forgot to say we have a new feature here and it is that you can message me your queries not just regarding the lessons which i have taught you in uh, these videos but regarding any lesson in class 10 sst at facebook.com slash sst guru and i will reply you in 12 hours and that's my personal guarantee fine so now coming on to the lesson soil is a renewable resource you may wonder what is a renewable resource a renewable resource is something which just gets replenished okay it comes back again and soil is in soil there is a exception okay it is renewed in just a few millennials okay so basically we need to know what are the different factors that affect how soil is formed first of all we have something known as a parent rock a parent rock is something from which the soil forms so this is consider this to be a parent rock uh, i know my diagrams are pathetic but uh, if you are going to draw some diagrams like this in your exam it's going to fetch you marks okay and it will improve your understanding to a large extent that you will never forget it so this is the parent rock so what basically happens is the earth initially had no soil it just had rocks okay and rocks are so huge and from this what happened is this parent rock denuded into small and small small pieces and the small small pieces of parent rock is what is known as soil okay fine so now how is this parent rock is being converted into soil so we have some factors which are affected they are temperature running water wind glaciers decomposes relief and vegetation now come on tell me did you understand anything this is the sentence given to you in your ncrt textbook but you just cannot mug up all these and it won't fetch you any marks so we need to know something about it in detail so that it's present in our minds and our interest in SST is improved because SST is a wonderful subject which is very interesting and you will never forget for your life if you study it in the right way. Now I'm here to help you to study it in the right way. So basically uh, now we deal with temperature. So you may wonder what is this a blank slide? Don't worry I'm going to draw in this. So uh, there are two things which I need to tell you in how temperature affects the formation of soil so consider this to be a parent rock okay so what happens is the parent rock is affected by the temperature temperature of what the sun okay so consider this to be the sun i'm sorry i'm very bad at drawing please excuse me so when the sun uh, at midday what happens is this rock is getting heated up and when the moon comes when the moon comes in the night then what happens is this rock is getting cooled so basically you know there is a thermal expansion and contraction when you heat a substance it gets expanded when you cool a substance it gets contracted so this expansion and contraction results in the formation of small 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 particles okay so this gives you the formation of soil okay this is a part so if you want to know how this expansion actually occurs just the it's very simple okay you just have a balloon and keep it in the sun after some time you just blow a balloon and keep it in the sun after some time it will burst why because in the balloon the gases get expanded and at last they will burst if you keep a balloon uh, which is blown up into a freezer after some time it may get uh, the size of it will be reduced because the air is being uh, the air is being compressed okay so this is the basic feature about temperature there is another feature which i would like to tell you so now consider a rock that is like this okay it has a small curvature like this okay this curvature and in this curvature you have some water being stagnated okay so what happens is when there is sun when there is heat acting upon this water this water expands 
and when the moon is acting on this this water contracts so you see this water exerts its pressure on the walls of this rock okay you understand it it this water exerts pressure on the walls of the small rock so what happens is it is being degraded it is being eroded into small small soil particles and you know uh, we may not even live for a lifetime it may take more than 200 or 300 years for a small particle of soil to be formed so we need to be careful about it so this is all about temperature now coming on to running water so this is pretty easy to understand so consider this to be a stream of water flowing okay the water is flowing very fast and now here we have a rock so what happens to this rock it's very natural right this river comes and hits it the water keeps on hitting it keeps on hitting it for millions and millions of years what happens at last this rock does not this rock does not exist it ceases to be existing it just converts into soil so where will this soil be going this will not come to the land this will also always be carried away by the river and at sometimes it will be deposited at the deltas or at the banks of the river so running water it's quite simple to understand now moving on to the next now wind so uh, consider a situation in a desert so we have a rock as usual and what happens is in desert you have already seen that uh, uh, there are many sand dunes and all okay in desert what you have is uh, uh, when the air blows very fast the it also takes along with soil particles dust particles etc and that soil particles effect an abrasive effect in this abrasive effect that means uh, it is being eroded at a very small minute cost okay uh, at very very minute paces this rock is being eroded and i think the wind uh, uh, the wind being a factor for soil formation is very low because it takes a lot a lot 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 of time okay so i will tell you in the uh, next time that wind will act as a faster thing okay so as of now this is air that is blowing and this air is going to affect uh, uh, your rock and so that after some millions of years it will be formed into soil and now we have another thing that is known as glaciers so first of all i expect you to know what are glaciers glaciers are small very very large condensed water bodies that move at a very small pace so for you to imagine i can say it is a very very large frozen river okay that river is already frozen and it is moving at a very small pace but you see it is very huge and the depth of the ice okay it is a frozen uh, that's what i told you so it's frozen and it's uh, of very high volume so what happens is if you have a rock here and consider this to be a glacier okay so so this glacier when it moves at a very small pace it just breaks of the rock the rock is just broken away and you can imagine what all those happened in the titanic you know those icebergs are so strong likewise the glaciers are also very strong any rock that's in the path of the river that is a glacier it is going to be broken into pieces okay it is a very strong cause that can uh, erode your rock into soil so glaciers are really attractive to read now coming on to the next factor decomposes so what are decomposers basically decomposers are small microorganisms okay they are just microorganisms here you can see the dot but uh, you can't see the dots of the decomposers okay they are very very small so what happens is decomposers always feed on dead animals so uh, dead animals plants etc so here is a rock this is a parent rock okay so i have changed the shape here and now we have a small leaf okay that is fallen from a tree so what happens after some time is this is this leaf is being decomposed by some de organisms so what happens after the decomposes um, decompose this leaf is that uh, they leave some chemicals so this chemicals what they do is they etch the rock at a very minimum extent okay small amount of etching is created and this create some soil okay so i'm just uh, giving you a small example here but you can imagine a lot more leaves here and a lot more dead animals tree trunks and whatever here any living organism uh, that has been dead which is deposited over a rock and it is being decomposed it may secrete a small amount of uh, chemical and that chemical can erode your rock simple fine and now comes relief so now you imagine a mountain like this okay fine now now you have a rock here 
so what happens is uh, there is a very strong wind over here i told you i'll tell you something about wind na? so now we have a wind here so this wind blows so strong that this rock is falling here this rock is falling down so what happens when it falls down it breaks into pieces then it breaks into pieces it naturally forms soil okay this is uh, uh, like very much similar to landslides okay big 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 rocky landslides that's how soil is formed you just imagine like that you it's easy for you to understand so apart from wind there is another factor that can also uh, help in this relief so what is that is uh, if there is a water body something here and that is going to push your rock down then that can also help you in the relief so this is a mountainous relief so what happens in a plain relief plain relief does not uh, uh, help you much for the formation of rock in terms of this factor okay so it can be acted upon by other factors which i already told you but in mountainous uh, regions this process of soil formation can be uh, done very fast okay the next is vegetation so the vegetation is one of the primary causes for the formation of soil so how let me tell you so this is a small layer of soil okay already formed soil and you have some parent rocks here here and like this this one is very big so and what you have is you have a small tree here so imagine this to be a tree okay i'm very bad at drawing i'm extremely sorry for that and now what happens is you have the roots here okay so what happens here for the formation of soil is that the roots of this tree you see the roots of this tree can penetrate into the rocks it just pushes the rocks and exerts itself into the rock and just pushes itself into the rock and uh, hence soil is formed the rock is being broken literally you can see some cracks in the rock and finally the rock will be broken and after some millions of years maybe this full rock is converted into soil so that is how vegetation affects the formation of soil and now uh, with that i complete you what the how soil is formed so basically you had so many things and uh, i explained it to you with uh, diagrams hope it helped you and help you understand it i know in the book it is just a small paragraph but you need to deeply understand it in order to reproduce it in your exams okay so now guys uh, the next podcast that is on resources and development part 4 which deals with different soil types of india this is one of the very favorite questions of the examiners and they love to ask this exam and you too you can just get five marks in just a go it's very simple guys now you know how all the soils are how a soil formed so now you just need to know what factors affected what part in himalayan region you have a mountainous uh, feature so in that uh, that you have mountain soils and alluvial soils are deposited by rivers because we have the action of water and in rajasthan no need to say it is because of the action of wind and likewise it's very simple guys that's why i made you this video which is uh, very explanatory and very in detail about how is soil formed actually that will help you remembering what are the different soil types of india but if you want me to post this video please do comment that you want i can serve you only if you need okay only if i know that it's going to help you i can help you with that okay fine guys now well, if you want to get all these slides for revision it's very simple okay i post all these slides in facebook.com slash guru just go there like the page and from now on uh, i will post the images of the slides it will be very easy for you to put it on your phone and revise it at the very last day of your exam now if you did like the podcast and if you think it did help you and so please hit the like button which is bizarre which is below this video and i would love if you share this video and help more people because i basically do this because to help uh, people uh, who do not afford tuitions i know sst tuitions are really really costly and they are very rare and this is one of the favorite subjects that are being missed if you're being taught it properly then you will just love the subject so uh, please do share it and help your friends and comment me comment on this if you like the video and also if you have any doubts and please do comment and do tell me what next you want me to do okay the only i produce videos i make videos only based on your comments okay so please do tell me uh, what next video you want and you can always message me personally in my facebook page and i will reply to you in just 12 hours okay so that's it from from me today guys thank you and have a wonderful day